Oh, hey folks, welcome back to Shaggy's Car Shop. On tonight's episode, I installed my hood catch and my nose cone. So if you guys want to see how I did this, please don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned and I'll show you how I did it. folks so the first thing I'm gonna do to get this nose cone area on is I need to put my uh, hood release and spring uh, bracing and everything back on so I already put in new u-bolts here and here there's a third hole down here where that bottom bolt will go in and then we just put this that um, this way I don't have to take it all apart to weasel it in here because I don't really remember how much room there was also the other thing I did before was I loosened up these bolts on the front fenders so that way when we grab up that front nose cone area we can adjust things but let's start with this so these are going to be a half inch head on these and this is a pretty easy thing to get up in here but all it does is thread them in Snug these up just a touch because I see on the bottom part here that it bent a little bit. I don't necessarily, I mean, I could buy all new of this, um, but with the way prices of things have been going up, I would rather not right now. Stand by one minute, folks. I am going to go grab one of my half inch wrenches. Loosen this up, slide that in there. Just like that. All right. So my next thing I got to do is these pieces right here. Because what this does is it mounts right up in there. And then the front end or that front nose area mounts here and here. So with my bolt kit, I got... 
these pretty hefty bolts here. They are a uh, three quarter inch head on them. And I'm just gonna get these, I won't even say snugged up. Just gonna get them loosely in here on both sides. So that way, I can adjust when I lift that piece up in here. And then it slides just like that. And then these bolts move around as well. So let's go ahead and get this other side one in. have it all right folks let me get you guys a better camera angle and get some more bolts out here so I can get I know these three right here and then the same on the other side and again trying to do this with only one set of hands hold it up and get some of these bolts started but we'll uh, try and get you a better camera angle and we'll bring you right back as we're lifting it up in all right Get some bolts set up. Let me check, make sure these are all right. So, for these carriage bolts, they are square holes through there. So, then you just push them through, and if they're in there tight, they should hold so you can run your. Uh, washer nut on the back side although it might almost be better to run the other way but that's all right we'll run it this way let's attempt this by myself It's hanging there very precariously. Let me get this 
this third one in here. Like so. And like so. Let me get these top two in here and then we'll uh, tighten these eight bolts down from here and there, tighten all them down and then I'll bring you back once we're trying to adjust it because I left those uh, bigger bolts, those three quarter inch head bolts loose and then we'll snug them up just enough to where we can move this around and try and get it quasi squared up on this front end here. All right, I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, folks, um, I got all of those eight carriage bolts just snugged up. Again, I'm not tightening anything super down to torque specs except this stuff in the back underneath because as far as I'm concerned from the firewall and underneath and back the car is done um, that's why I did it that way so when I take it to a body shop they can do the interior and all of this exterior stuff but anyway I just snug those up so we can adjust things and I guess we'll attempt to get this somewhat close. heavy. Have to loosen them up. Whew. All right, let's try and get this side a little closer.
these fenders are off by about oh half three quarters of an inch over here and over there but i think if i play with stuff just a little bit um i'll be able to get some stuff to move around you know but that's that that's how you throw on a uh on a front bumper and grill section for a 69 Firebird. Kind of a pain in the butt by yourself, but especially when you tore it apart 15, 20 years ago and didn't remember how things went together. But, that's that. All right, I'll be right back with you. Here's what it looks like so far, folks. Again, I got a little more adjusting to do. Get them fenders closer on them corners. But I think it looks pretty good. All right, folks, that's it for tonight's video. Um, hopefully you enjoyed. Kind of a little bit of a pain in the butt. I gotta wiggle it around, adjust these fenders some more. Um, I got it not close on the corners, but I think these fenders will come down in once I throw that lower balance on. Um, but please stay tuned on my next couple of videos. I'm either going to do my lower balance or my cowl panel. And then once I get those two done, then it's time to start playing with uh, lovely GM hood hinges and my hood. All right, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.